kind of forgot. Okay, so the rabbit on the right is eating the apple, and the rabbit on the left is eating some grass. I think. Oh, hey, hey, you want you want a fish? Hey, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Hey. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, I tied my bag up. I tied my bag up, unfortunately. There's a water bird up there. Want this fish? Go get it. Alright, I just threw a fish behind me. I don't know if that bird's gonna get it or not, but behind me. 90 degrees. Man, I can't win. Alright, well at least that rabbit is there. There is another water bird. Is that, is that bird on the tree a water bird? Alright, so let me flip my camera up towards the trees here. Okay, I'm talking about those trees, okay? And if I can just, oh, it's this bird I'm talking about right here. Um, oh, hang on, oh, just need to, I just need to tilt this down a little bit. I can only film one thing at a time. I can't film two things at once. Well, technically I can, but... So, what is it? It's a water bird. Okay, water bird right there. So what should I do, huh? Fortunately, I didn't bring my Telus scoping camera with me. Yeah, I only brought one camera. I do have my iPhone camera, but I don't know if that rabbit is going to let me uh, film him with my camera. So there's that bird. I know you can't see because the branches are starting to come into focus more than the bird is. And then on the other side, there is... On which side is it? Um, oh yeah, there we go. It's this bird right there, right there. Okay, let me zoom that in. Yeah, they won't go for the fish. But you know what bird would go for that fish? A bald eagle. But I just haven't seen any yet. Okay, so birds, so those are two water birds. They're probably like egrets or something, or maybe herons, probably. They're very small herons, whatever they are. You can't really see that bird very well because like I said, the branches are blocking the view right there. And then I put the fish right over there and it's all the way over there. Didn't throw it far, but there it is. There's the fish. Okay, so fish right there, all right. And then, if you turn, oh, gotta tilt this down. Over here is the, uh, got it. You see how this is a problem? And then the bunny rabbits. Oh, mm-mm. So as you can see the app you see where the apple piece is? See where the bunny rabbit is? 
right there. So bunny rabbit, another bunny rabbit is there. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom out so you can see. Okay, there's four of them. So two parents, two juveniles. And then, let's not forget about the two birds there. There we have this guy, which was actually preening or opening up his feathers, stretching out his wings a little bit. And then there was the other one up there. This guy right here. Oh yeah, this one's preening the feathers. Very, very nice. Okay, so I guess these birds aren't hungry. If they were, they would have came down for this fish already. Man. And then here's the rabbits. I can never seem to want to go for one after the other. Seems to be random. Like, like I said, they just seem to go for random things on the ground. And then there are, those, there are those two right there. Man, I've been here for too long. I need to... I, and Wow, there's actually five rabbits now. There's one, two, three, four, five. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's actually six rabbits in total. Yes, they all belong to the same family. They were very leery of me, and they did actually hide between the bushes. But since I started putting the food out, they've gotten a little bit less leery. So there seems to be more competition. As there's more competition, they seem to be going for other things, like this apple right here. Eh, see, they just get so bored so fast. You gonna eat the fish? There's a fish on the ground over there. Are you gonna eat it? I'm talking to the the herons that are up on this tree branch right here. That sound is very familiar. That's an osprey sound.